Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today, I thought I'd take a look at the uh, latest Zamudu release, uh, 16.04, which was released. The, the uh, official release was yesterday. Uh, I downloaded uh, Zubuntu and I also downloaded Lubuntu, which I'll probably do a, a review on that within a day or two. But this particular review is uh, concerning Zubuntu. Now, Zubuntu uh, 16.04, um, I'm very impressed with it so far. Now, uh, I'm not running it the way it comes stuck out of the box I I have made a few changes to it now the the desktop wallpaper that you see here is one of their default wallpapers so that's fine the um, icons are Nimbus which I've been using lately they're pretty nice um, so I've changed to the Nimbus icons now if you go into the settings manager one of the uh, things that it appears is new with uh, 1604 is the XFCE panel switcher reminds me of the Mate uh, Mate has a uh, configuration option Mate tweak which allows you to change the um, the panel configuration uh, in this case um, I have it set up on the Redmond now Redmond and down the bottom if you select Redmond um, Redmond is basically a, a Windows kind of an XP look um, if you click on Redmond and then click on apply configuration then or, or no matter which one you select here you'll need to click on apply configuration and it will change it for you now I'll go th through a couple with you. Now, my backup, <clears throat> which was the original XFCE, I'm going to apply that. You see the panel is now back up the top, and I have the XFCE whisker menu, which is very, very nice. Um, the theme I am running right now is Numix. So uh, it's nothing unusual. It's new mix. I I've got a few others. I've got dark Nimbus, light Nimbus, plain old Nimbus. Um, I've got some gray birds, and it has a few. I think blue bird or gray bird is installed out of the box. But you can add whatever you want to to change the look. Now. <clears throat> um, the original XFCE panel um, I just changed I put the categories on the left but other than that it's pretty much stock the way it comes to you out of the box it's it's normally themed in a light gray and this is the theme that you get when you select Nimbus now this is a very nice look um, but I tend to favor the Redmond look and I'll click on that and show you the panel moves to the bottom the uh, system tray is on the right hand side it shows your open windows but your your menu is a little more simplistic it's got all your categories and then your settings system everything is pretty much within an easy scroll uh, no issues whatsoever. I like it like that and I think I'm going to keep it that way for now. Now you can change this um, icon if you click on properties you can change that to whatever icon you prefer. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone but you can go online and pull in whatever icon you want and use that as your icon for your menu. You notice how it says start because it is kind of a Windows oriented theme. Now if I look in at Zubuntu Modern, if I click on that, you'll see that it goes back to the, the whisker menu. If I click on Ubuntu Classic, you'll see that the panel stays at the top, but you have the scrollable just drop down simple menu. XFCE 4.12 again gives you the same scrollable simple menu 
and then you've got Redmond. Now GNOME 2, as you can see, it gives you a wind, uh, panel at the bottom, and it and it gives you the, the the GNOME look up the top. System tray icons on the right. It gives you your settings, and it gives you your browser. It gives you your places, and same drop-down menu. Now this is a nice look also. If I had to pick my second favorite it would probably be this GNOME uh, configuration. So I'm gonna go back to Redmond. It's gonna move the panel to the bottom, give me a start menu. Um, I like that and that's that's fine the way it is. Now everything seems to be working wonderfully out of the box. I'm not having any issues. You've got plenty of configuration options. Uh, the, all the standard configuration options are available and uh, as you can see there's pretty much you can pretty much do anything with it. Now I did go through the um, the drivers additional drivers and I added my NVIDIA driver my Broadcom and my Intel microcode uh, so I am using three proprietary drivers as you can see they installed without a hitch no problems at all uh, let's see what else we have now I'm gonna close that out and let's open a browser Chrome, uh, Firefox comes installed out of the box and we're gonna close everything out and I'm gonna open up distro watch so we can see the new releases that were released yesterday. Now as you can see you've got Ubuntu Mate, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Mythbuntu, Ubuntu Gnome, Ubuntu Kylin, Ubuntu Studio, which I also downloaded. I'm gonna install that on my secondary computer which I use for music recording and things like that. So I'm gonna test that out on that and you, you'll probably see a review on that within the next four or five days. Zubuntu which I'm running, Ubuntu. Uh, so all of the flavors were released and that was good news to the uh, Ubuntu fans I'm sure uh, although they did have the um, release candidate that was released about a week ago. There were, there were not many updates uh, to do. Now I've installed GeoVC View as you can see is working fine simple screen recorder uh, I installed using the standard PPA and that functioned fine also uh, but if you want a uh, screen capture program that you don't need a PPA for Kazam works fine um, Wi-Fi working fine no issues whatsoever uh, so far I really really like it I think it's a wonderful distribution think they've outdone themselves. Now there are lots of uh, new features that I have not gone into. One of them is called Snappy Packages which um, are programs that are a little bit later version than you would find uh, in the LTS or long-term support um, versions of Ubuntu and that is something that I have not gotten into yet. Uh, I'm perfectly satisfied with the software that is available, but uh, I will take a look at the snappy packages and see what that brings to the table. So all in all, for Zubuntu, I would say they have all the bases covered. I don't see anything that's lacking. It's a wonderful distribution for people coming from Windows. You can change the look and feel, uh, and I think it it pushes all the right buttons. So that is it for this video guys. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.
Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.